Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich and this is a tutorial on how to completely remove Mozilla Firefox from your computer. First, if you're asking, well, why would I do this? Maybe you installed some plugins that broke your browser and uh, you need to have absolute confirmation that you're doing a 100% fresh install and this is the way to do it. And the second question you're probably asking is, doesn't add remove as an add remove programs from the control panel, doesn't that remove the entire application? Not necessarily. It may actually leave the program files, uh, most of the Firefox folder behind and a profiles folder besides that. So that's the two things I'm going to show you how to get rid of. And uh, I will say this, don't do this. If you're using someone else's computer, get permission first. And also this is assuming you have already uninstalled Firefox from add remove. If you have not uninstalled Firefox first, do that first, then do this. Don't do this stuff if you still have the application installed on your computer or it will break the application. I'm going to say that right up front. This is kind of advanced too. So anyway, let's move on. This is my computer. Everyone's seen this a million times. You go to my computer and you go to your hard drive from here, your optical drive from here and uh, other things of that sort. In the address bar, what we do is we're going to use Windows environment variables in order to get to where we need to get to. If you do not see this address bar, we click on view, then toolbars, then address bar. If it's not checked, you don't see it. So if we go and check it, you do. And uh, Windows environment variables start with a percent and end with a percent with a command in between. So uh, we're going to go to the application data folder first. So I'm going to do percent and then a p p d a t a percent. So it's percent a p p d a t a app data percent and then we press enter. This takes me directly to the application data folder for the current user that is logged into the computer and uh, the username on this box is me rich. So it goes uh, C documents and settings rich application data. Now this is ordinarily a hidden folder in uh, Windows XP. So uh, you may actually get a warning if you do this. I don't because I turn the warnings off. So in here we have a whole bunch of folders. The one that we want to find is one called Mozilla. If you don't have a Mozilla folder, then it actually was removed properly. If you do have it, well, that's either because you still have a Firefox folder in here, or you have another Mozilla product installed besides Firefox, maybe Thunderbird, maybe something else. Chances are you're only using one Mozilla product though, and it's probably Firefox. Now in this Firefox folder, we have a folder called profiles, and it's got this really weird name, and it says something named dot default. Now you may actually have several folders in here, meaning several different profiles that Firefox created. Maybe there, maybe not. But if we go into here, you'll have things like bookmark backups. Uh, I have one called Chatzilla because that is a uh, plugin, which is actually kind of an application for IRC. And you'll see uh, Chrome. This is for CSS stuff to do with the browser extensions. Uh, you'll also see other things in here. Lots of stuff. This is where the Firefox browser saves profile data. If you've uninstalled Firefox and you only have one folder under the Mozilla folder called Firefox, you can actually delete the Mozilla folder entirely. Now I'm going to say again, you should not remove this unless you have uninstalled Firefox first. If you have other products besides Firefox by Mozilla, then all you need to do is delete the Firefox folder. Once that's gone, that's okay. And again, I'm going to say, Firefox must be uninstalled first. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to examine the program files directory and see if there is a Mozilla Firefox folder in there. And the way we get to that is type in percent and then program files, all is one word, no spaces required, percent, P-R-O-G-R-A-M-F-I-L-E-S, percent, press enter. It dumps us directly into the program files uh, directory Again, if this if you have the warnings turned on in Windows XP, it's going to say, are you sure you want to see these files? I mean, like I said, I have these turned off. And what we're going to look for here is a folder called Mozilla Firefox. And there it is, Mozilla Firefox. Now, if you're asking, OK, if I uninstall the application, why is this left behind? Well, it's most likely left behind because some plugins left some residual data in there. Or maybe possibly you installed some other dictionary files. Could be any number of things. 
Firefox is one of those kind of browsers where you can add a whole ton of stuff to it. And unlike Internet Explorer, it can be removed completely. So uh, if Firefox is completely uninstalled from the computer, you can safely delete this folder. Uh, and that's basically it. So we have the application data folder for Mozilla and then Firefox, and then we have the Mozilla Firefox folder under program files. And if you want to have even further confirmation that after you delete these, that Mozilla Firefox is completely removed from the system, you can run a utility called CCleaner at uh, C-C-L-E-A-N-E-R dot com freeware utility. This will uh, eliminate uh, odd MUI entries and other registry stuff. It's a safe utility. I love using it. And uh, that's basically it. So when you install Firefox after removing this stuff, you will get an absolute clean install. Unless I missed anything. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments or go to PCMech.com and uh, let me know there. I think this is uh, pretty much everything you would need to remove to have Firefox completely removed from your Windows XP installation. And that's basically it. Take it easy.